guys. Oh, I came to Pampanga uh, to visit my, to celebrate Easter with my grandmother, you know. And then I came and I found that she was not feeling well. And then after I attended to her, took her to the hospital, now I, I actually, like I said in my previous video, I was going to, I was going, I went to check up on Lola and then my intention was to go check out of the hotel, go to the bus station and go back to Manila. Guys, right now it's about 8 p.m. You guys, I have been waiting at the bus station, guys, so... Since I was in Angeles, the first bus was in, was supposed to be. I was I went to uh, Dao bus terminal. So, guys, upon uh, reaching Dao terminal station and realized that there are no buses, uh, the bus uh, the grab driver uh, gave me a suggestion. Told me that a uh, bus station or uh, the bus terminal in uh, in San Fernando, that is a, another city in uh, Pampanga has a 24-hour bus service so i could take you there and you get a bus i only promised that i'll get a bus so we came all the way like it was like a 40 minutes drive from angeles from Dao actually to to san fernando now guys i'm stuck in san fernando i don't know san fernando i don't know anyone i am stuck here there is no bus okay i've been sitting here since 6 p.m and right now it's about 8 p.m. You guys, no bus. So guys, <laughs> I'm just left alone in the cold streets. I've been sitting in a bus uh, terminal until I decided, you know what, let me go outside, see what's going on, okay? So guys, I'm stuck here with my bags. <laughs> and um, you know, so I don't know guys. I don't know, this has never happened to me before and it has happened, okay? I didn't find a bus because anyway I think it's because today is Good Friday that is what they told me today is Good Friday so there's a celebration going on and uh, buses are like you know so there's limited buses and there's limited traveling a lot of people are with their families so you guys right now I just want to walk this very dark street <laughs> see what I can if I can find a jeep me to take me back to to Angeles so that I can stay there, stay the night there and uh, wake up tomorrow morning, go to Dao Terminal Station so that tomorrow I go back to Manila. Guys, I'm so disappointed. Like, I'm so used to going to Angeles, to coming to Pampanga. And even sometimes, the last time I, I, get, I went to the bus terminal at around 8 p.m. and I still found a bus. So today I came at 5 p.m. and there was no bus. Actually, it was even earlier than 5 p.m. I, I left my... I, I was in a I was in a bus terminal by 4 p.m. and they told me the last bus was 3 p.m. or what did they say 2 p.m. I'm even confused. So anyway, guys, so I just want to walk this street, see what I can find. Oh my goodness, it's so dark and scary. I'm the only one here. There's nobody in the road except the cars, which is the most scary part. Oh my goodness. Whew. Let me just show you. Let me turn the camera. So. This is where I'm going because I've seen uh, a lot of jeepneys going this direction and uh, it's going to Robinson's I think, Robinson, uh, San Fernando or whatever, SM Rob whatever, I don't know, Robinson something. The jeepneys, uh, they have, uh, they are saying they are going to Robinson. I don't know if they are going to turn here. Okay, maybe I should wait and see so that I know where Robinson's is so that I don't go that direction. And in the end, Robinson's has to be this side, okay? So my aim is to go to Robinson's from there. I'll figure out. You know, it's a mall. Robinson's is a mall. So I'm sure. I hope the Robinson thing is a mall. Because if it's not, or I think, oh yeah, and I also want to see, my aim is to actually go to Robinson, that Robinson's or SM City, Pampanga. Ah, SM City San Fernando, San Fernando. See if I can, you know, from there I can weigh where to go. See guys, the road is really dark and empty. So let me wait for the jeepney that is going to Robinson's. Then I see if it will turn here. There's a turn, there's a U-turn slot here. So I don't want to 
think that Robinson is that direction when it is not actually. So I'll just go. In. So you guys, some guy just came up to me and told me, ah, oh, I've seen you in a. I've been seeing you in a bus terminal. Can I help you? Like. Uh, and I told him like, oh, you know, I came from Angeles and I was hoping to find a bus here going to Kubao. Now I've been sitting here for two hours, almost three hours, and there's no bus. So I've decided to go outside, see if I can find means of, uh, see if I can find somewhere to launch. And he was like, ah, oh, yeah, can I help you? Can I come with you? Oh my goodness, that is even the freaky part, okay? So... <laughs> As I'm walking, I keep looking back to see if he's following me because, oh my goodness, that was, was freaky and that is why I had to move. See, if you notice, I was almost there at that bridge. But right now, I'm farther this side uh, because, you know, that guy. I wanted to sit, wait and see where the jeepneys that were saying, that were written Robinson, were going to. Until that guy approached me, said he has seen me, he has been seeing me at the bus terminal. My goodness. At first I felt like he was a good person trying to help me out, but then my good no. No, when he's mentioned something about uh we can we can go together to our hotel, I was like, oh my god, that was freaky. So anyway, you got like I said, uh I'm actually stuck here <laughs> for the first time this has never happened to me. I've always been in and out of Pampanga without any struggles, but this is first time I'm experiencing struggles. So the good thing is I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna keep on this highway because simply because it's safer, okay? There's cars passing by and stuff. So it's much, much, much safer than going into the local streets because you know what? I wouldn't wanna get uh, myself into more trouble than I already am in, okay? My goodness, you I don't know what do people do in such situations. So what I'm actually contemplating, what I'm actually contemplating is either I go back to Angeles, uh, launch there for the night, and then tomorrow morning I wake up and go to Manila. And I will go to Manila as early as possible. I don't want these incidents happening again. Okay. So anyway, you guys, I just wanted to. <laughs> I just wanted to come in here and uh, tell you my situation because, you know, this keeps me even busy and keeps my head from thinking, from overthinking because, you know, it's crazy, tricky, the street is very empty, you can only find one or two people passing by and guys, <laughs> which is more freaky. Anyway, I'm trying, and on a, another thing guys, I'm trying to even book a ride and I cannot find, it keeps telling me like, uh, no rides available like bus uh, rides on the by the roadside are hard to find so i've been trying it for the past like 10 minutes and nothing okay so you try for the first time it tells you try and again try searching again for up to three minutes and then you try again after up to three minutes nothing five minutes nothing so 10 minutes right now and i'm still not finding a ride which is crazy so now i'm like I'm not even, I'm, read, I'm sitting at the roadside and I can't even find a taxi also. So, which is crazy. I'm standing by the, by the main road, by the highway. And there is no taxi, no grab, nothing. Guys, <laughs> if you're ever in the Philippines, please. And it is Easter, don't try to go anywhere past 3, but past 2 p.m. Because you will be stuck. Just like I am right now, I'm really stuck. My goodness, I'm even sweating. It's at night, there's breeze. But I'm sweating because first of all, I'm dancing. I don't know what to do next. I can't even find a taxi. I can't even book a ride from the app, from the Grab app, which is crazy. My goodness. Woo. I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know. So, I will just keep waiting and trying to see if I ever find a ride. Because... And I don't want to keep going further because I was thinking of going 
I was thinking of going further that end, but no. Now I, when I think, what, now that I think about it, no, I think I will not go because that seems like a dead end to me. I see a lot of cars. Are you turning there? So maybe I should find a footbridge, which is that one that I left behind, and uh, cross over to the other side. See, there's actually a jeepney, but it is closed. That means it is full. It is full, you guys. So I need to find a way of crossing over to the other side because I see most cars are going that. And I also wanted to check out uh, the jeepneys, where they are going, this direction, where they are going. That way I can know my balance. I can know if I'm on the right track or not. So guys, yeah, that's my situation. And I'm actually stuck here because, you know, the lighting is better. It's at night and the lighting is way more better. Okay, so that's why I decided, you know what, let me stand here and I'll keep, so don't mind me if you, keep, if you see me keep looking at this direction. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see if I can find a taxi, you guys. Woo. Okay, the jeepney doesn't even have uh, that thing, that, uh, that boat that says where it's going. So, anyway, you guys, I'm stuck here. I don't know what to do. I'm confused. I'm sweating. I am tense. It's at night. I don't know anybody in Panga. I, I don't know anybody in uh, in San Fernando, which is the most crazy part. But anyway, so I wanna try. I, I wanna keep trying the grab and see if I can be successful in getting myself a ride. Because ooh, ooh, this is crazy. So guys, let me let me keep trying again. So guys, after trying again, there was no luck. I couldn't get a, 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 a ride. So I've actually seen Jollibee at the other side of the road. So what I'm thinking now is uh, go back this direction and then uh, use the footbridge and then cross over, sit in Jollibee until I can be able to find a ride. I feel like for now that's the safest option for me. Ah, so they, they, they have seen, actually this is the new jeepney. So the jeepney is going in this direction, they are going to Arariat, Santa Ana. So that means that is, whew, that is another level, so it's not going to where I am going. Okay, so let me just keep going this direction and then see from there. Okay, I wanna go uh, across the bridge, go to JDB, sit there and uh, see from there. But before I go, I wanna keep trying one more time and see how it goes. Okay, so I will update you guys on how it goes. Many, many minutes later. So, you guys, after trying for so long, I finally found a ride and it's on its way. It's almost 15 minutes away, but it is better than nothing. <laughs> I'm so happy, I'm so happy, guys. Woo. I was starting to get worried. I was really, really, really worried. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know who to call. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate however short it is. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, let me know in the comment section, have you ever been stuck before? And uh, how did you get out of the situation? Because oh, this was really uh, hectic for me because I'm thinking, oh my God, this is Pampanga. This is San Fernando. Even if it is, at least if it was Angeles, I would have known how to navigate, okay? I'll have used a tricycle, tell the tricycle guy to take me to that place, okay? At least I know. I can proudly say I know a little bit of Angeles, and like uh, San Fernando, which I do not know, never been here, this is my first time, and I was convinced by my Grab driver to come here, because he said the bus station terminal is 24 hours, and therefore there's gonna be bus every now and then, only for me to arrive here and be shocked, there was no bus, there was nothing, I waited for like three hours, and now I decided, you know what, it's okay, tomorrow, 
I can travel back to Manila, but I'll try to be early this time. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the for the love. Thank you so much for the uh, yeah. Thank you so much for the for the love. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, and uh, guys, if you're watching this and you have not subscribed, please remember to subscribe. <laughs> please remember to subscribe, guys. I just looked down here to see. My bag is still there. Maybe somebody came and snatched it without me noticing. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, woo! Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and turn on the notification bells. So, guys, sorry for the abrupt stop. My camera actually did die. <laughs> I was filming all that time and I didn't even know that my battery was one percent okay so thank goodness i before before it, me immediately i booked uh my the grab driver confirmed i had already uh seen the color of the car i didn't even see uh the plate number you guys <laughs> so when i saw the same color of the car pull up i went and asked him is it grab he said yes so <sighs> That's how I got saved. Otherwise, I will have been doomed. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I will see you on my next one. Okay, and guys, stay safe, stay amazing, and peace.